you just got done watching the Random Access Do Bomb Show. Okay, that was your host, Gene Mosh. Okay, so now I'm hosting out the Star Wars Random Access Show. With your host, yours truly, Robert Gonzalez. How you guys doing tonight? Pretty good? Good. Well, I guess I'm going to go ahead and start showing you a little bit of some footage of uh, Star Wars here. This is like the beginning of the movie here. You guys will get uh, footage from each movie every week that we show. So don't, it's not going to be like a... Uh, Star Wars one day or one week and Empire the next week it's gonna be like you know until we finish Star Wars movie and then we'll go on to Empire Strikes Back right here this is a good scene right here in the movie as you can see uh, the Empire is uh, about to take over and uh, totally rip shit up um, yeah as I was saying I got some questions uh, that I've been asked and stuff hey what's up the kids are here <laughs> Mark how you doing uh, I got my special guest here Chris Duncan here as my special guest here there's my man. As you can see, we're watching here Star Wars, like I was saying. Uh, you guys ready to do the movie later? What's that? <laughs> okay, and here we are. That's the Star Destroyer is now taking on the the, the rebels. No, I'm going to be here after 5 o'clock. I'm out of here. Give me one. <laughs> hey, but uh, JJ, find out about your mom. Because JJ's going to go with us, too. And my other special guest here, Mark. This is my homeboy, Mark. Say hi. Hi. We're all watching Star Wars. We're doing a, a Star Wars TV show here. This is the first week of a uh, Star Wars TV show here. Brought to you by me, yours truly, Robert Gonzalez. I'm the one for Star Wars. You guys want to know anything and everything? I pretty much can probably answer your questions. Hopefully, I'm not too sure there though. I mean, I'm sure there's probably people who got like more, uh, <laughs> more, <laughs> uh, more knowledge of Star Wars than me. But hey, what can I say? I know what I know. So if you don't like it, hey, forget you. Pretty hardcore. Okay, I had a question asked, what would Greedo have done if Han Solo never shot him and would have, uh, and he wouldn't have died? Well, you know, I think that if uh, Greedo would have, uh, he probably would have tried to capture uh, Han Solo and totally take him down to Jabba the Hutt. Get out of here! <laughs> because as a matter of fact, in Return of the Jedi, I've seen a couple more other Greedos that were the same exact thing, you know what I mean? So I figured there must be some kind of big race on the Greedo family here or something, otherwise there wouldn't be, you know, so many. In Jawa's Palace in the Return of the Jedi, you see uh, Greedo. Okay. He blows, uh, Han Solo does blow him away here in a little while. You will see. Hey, look at, look at my screen. Huh. <laughs> oh, anyways, okay, as I was saying. Chris and uh, Mark, we're really getting ready to leave here, you know, because they are disturbing me. <laughs> Come back to me, Wall. Later, Mark. Wait a minute. Where you okay, how many people though? How many people could see? No, Mark, you, I lost it. It's not where I got already all 18 used up, Duncan. There's two people per pass, Duncan. I only took one pass, guaranteed, just one. So I'll see you guys later. Uh, Okay, now this is my favorite part of the movie here. Look at the way he grabs his neck and lifts him up over his head. Now, come on, now, that's some power, dude. Now, listen to the way he gets pissed off here, okay? Look at, listen, listen, listen. Now, right there, he's pretty fucking pissed, I'd say. You know what I mean? I mean, you know, he's not screwing around, you know. In the story that happened before Star Wars, I quite often wonder what was going on at that time. You know what I mean? How, how they started chasing Princess Leia in this, uh... In the counselor ship. No, that's not the counselor. That was the ambassador. No, counselor ship. Yeah. So they captured them. Well, you see, I want to see when Princess Leia and then people on that ship left, um, wherever they were coming from, and uh, how like uh, Darth Vader and the Dark Empire, you know, followed them and got where they were going. Okay, another question I had here: In what time of the story did Darth Vader get betrayed by the Dark Side of the story? Well, see, I don't really know that. My knowledge isn't too. Uh, I'm not up there with it yet, but you know what I will say that uh, I bet you when uh, Darth Vader went through and had the you know Empire turn on him and uh, he became one of them, I'm sure he was fucking pretty goddamn scared of that for a while. Uh, yep. 
That shit taking off? That's a, it's called a... There goes another one. Oh shit, man! I don't really call what the hell they're called. A little pod, though. That just, you know. Um, as a matter of fact, yeah, it does. As a matter of fact, they did release that as the Star Wars, uh, as in the toys with uh, they came with that little spaceship with the Star Wars Jawa. It was the Jawa's playset. As a matter of fact, that was a nice little piece there. Uh, that ship did come with it.
September 15th. It's after one o'clock. Are you with me? You know what I mean? Check it out, dudes. Star Wars, or Empire Strikes Back. This is the story, dudes, that fucking changed history, dude. In my time, I was pretty young. I was thinking pretty, kind of fucked up. You know what I mean? Because I can't, I, I can say fucked up. I don't know, man. It's just pretty fucked up. But like I was saying, well, back to Empire. Long time ago in the galaxy far, far away. I don't want to have to read this shit to you guys because I'm sure all you guys who've watched this so many times have the idea of what's going on and how like this is like what episode five and and how like you know all that shit you know but the only thing I have to say to you guys these days is you guys got to read about Tales of the Jedi dude and all that shit that, that's happening before Empire Strikes Back and Star Wars because you know what that's gonna keep you up to date you know what I mean. Because all this right here, everybody's all caught up on it, dude. Everybody knows the story. Fuck it, dude. Find out what's happening before and after, dude. That's the main concern these days. You have to find out what's happening before. Actually, before is more important, you know what I mean? Because cause before leads all up to this, you know what I mean? Leads all up to this. See, you guys, you guys got to really seriously think about it, man. This is some serious shit, dude. Bad shit, dude. You know what I mean? So, join me in my Star Wars Route to D2 Sis show. This is my first week, dude. Last week, when you guys saw this show, it was some part of a Gene show. So, hey, thank you, Gene, for your random access shit. Thank you. But, I guess, well, okay, anyways. He has dispatched thousands of remote probe droids beyond the far reaches of space. And, uh, Star Destroyer. Yay. Brother Jay, you know what? I saw a fucking droid cartoon the other day, or just a little while ago, dude, and it was fucking bad because you know what? It had a fucking Star Destroyer in it. And it was fucking bad. I still have not seen a lot of the droids or, or, or Ewoks um, cartoons because, um, because I don't know. I don't know what was happening at that time and shit. To go. Yup. Probe droid enter into the hot system. Boom. Landed. And look who's around. What's his name? Fucking motherfucker who likes to keep it in the family, dude. Motherfucker who likes to fuck around with his own sister, dude. You know what I mean? If this dude had the power of the force and and that fucking that that you know what I mean? that power he would have felt you know what I mean that you know in the scenes yet to come well I'll get back to it so anyways Tauntaun that's a Tauntaun right there Luke Skywalker Hot Ice Tauntaun they do sell it in toys back in 82 or no I'm, I'm sorry 80 81 around that time they came out with a, a Tauntaun first it was a rebel soldier and then they came out with a Tauntaun as a matter of fact they even re released a Tauntaun with an open belly boom what year was that? Uh, there was a matter of fact they even released uh, Imperial um, Imperial Oh shit, it was just a battleground of fucking All this shit man, Ah, oh, fuck Any Anyways, listen Han Solo Han Solo is like the coolest motherfucker of all fucking Rebel Alliance dudes Cause you know why? Han Solo's a smuggler Han Solo will fucking backstab you if he had to He doesn't give a shit he kind of reminds me of somebody I know. Me. Look at. You know what? You know what? That fucks. That, that really fucks me up too. Because look at. Look, look at him. You know what? If he was such a great Jedi, or had the even the power of the Force, then he would never got fucked up. Look at. Look at where he's at. Look at him. Pathetic. He's just a crybaby. He's just a fucking big crybaby. That's all. Luke is a big crybaby. You know. what Here we go, people. I'll talk loud. Number five. Here we go. Bam. This is where it fucking takes place, okay? This is in between Star Wars and uh, Return of the Jedi, or Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. Shadows of the Empire, my friends. Two rewards on my head. Wanted, alive, and dead. It's, <coughs> it's worked to my advantage. The bounty hunters thought they could 
play one up against the other. All they've done is given me time to make a break. My lightsaber is almost too easy. Huh. Move and I'll shoot. This is a fucking bounce right there. Oh, he get, gets his, uh, his light, lightsaber. Ah, motherfucker's dead. So he kills off that fucker. So much, so much for sneaking out undetected. Skywalker. Here we go, Skywalker's in fucking action here. Ah! How did he get loose? Two, here we go, right here, boom. Back up here. Sluge. The force can only help me so much. No shit, motherfucker, don't depend on it too much. Sooner or later, w one of them is going to get through. No chance of taking him alive. Dead'll do. That's what the bounty hunter guys are saying. Rapid fire, he can't block them all. Boom. Vadoom! Here we go to the next page, people. Luke, I know that voice. Lando! Like shooting snakes in a shoebox. I've got a land speeder parked outside. Let's go! How did he find me? Dash told me you, you were the un. Ah, Cothless. That's a new planet, I guess, huh? A few locals owe me favors. They told me where these Yabus had a set up shop. I left 3PO with the Falcon. 3PO, then where, uh, where are Leia and, and Chewie? That's a long story. Let's get back to the ship before I, I tell it. Fuck you, just tell me now, motherfucker, I'd say. We'll pick up R2 and, the, and, and your X-Wing on, on the way by. So here we go. Boom, boom. Whatever fucking the hell this is, I have no idea. That's pretty fucking big, though, I'll tell you. Next page. Atu! I didn't think we'd ever see you again. Save the route, save the reunions. An emperor convoy has just entered the system, heading this way. That was our two people. The lead ship is a star destroyer, super, super class. Cool, Vader. Even if it wasn't, we do, we don't want to tangle with that monster. Sit back, we're going to slingshot out of here and hit light speed fast. Here you go. We are going. We are. Where are we going? Leia wants us on tattooing. Leia, where is Leia? So boom, they hit fucking hyperspace. Here we go. Something to drink. Something to drink, Princess. Let her in, Randy. Gr green champagne. Tea would be fine, Your Majesty. Here's Chewbacca, homeboy. Look, he's already got his head shaved too. Call me Zizor, please, or Zizor. What is it? Whatever, Zizor, Zizor is to me, whatever. Come, call me Zizor, please. We can dispense with the titles now that we are alone. So the Alliance might be interested in doing business with the Black Sun, huh? So I guess, suppose, apparently this is Princess Leia. Right? Cool. I, we, the Alliance, feel that we, that while Black Sun's aims are not <coughs> ours, the Empire is, a, is our common enemy. Okay? Look at Prince Leia, man. Now, see, they should come out with a figure like this. And they, you fucker, you, you know what? Over at Canada, you better. Okay, this is her and her fucking thinking in her mind. What's wrong with me? I feel dizzy. Being near him, his skin seems to glow. War does make strange bedfellows. This is her in her mind again. I want him to touch me, to kiss me. What? So, hey, Mac, look at, fuck, what the fuck's Prince Leia thinking? What? Keeping in the family with Luke and now fucking this dude and then Han Solo? What a hoe. Okay, no, this isn't right. I came to talk about Luke Skywalker in due course. We have more important things to do first. Oh, cool, get the buck on. What the fuck, is that right? This is all wrong, Han, I love Han, and yet I, I can't seem to resist. So she wants to get the buck on with Zizor, people. Is that cool? Rock to the YouTube, man. Thud, thud, okay, there's our, Chewie. What is happening to me? Chewie. He seems upset. I, I better see what he wants. The this is in his mind. The woman is mine. She will return as you like. Okay, next page, people. Chewie and Princess. This better be good, Chewie, because she wanted to get the buck on, she tells him. Let go of me, you overgrown stuffed toy. You're going to be sorry. What? Something is, something is listening. This is in her mind. Chewie, he's just trying to protect me, to protect Han from what was going on in there. 
How could I forget myself? How, how can I forget myself like that? Some kind of drug in the tea, maybe. That would account for it. So she was all fucked up, in other words. I think we better consider an alternate plan. <laughs> okay, here we go. Back to Vader. <laughs> okay. Skywalker's escaped, my lord. I know. He's escaped, <coughs> fool. He's no doubt off Collis by now. Tell me what happened here. <laughs> he got free. I don't know how we hit him with everything, but he... He was so fast with the lightsaber, it wasn't real. Then the the wall blew in. When the dust cleared, Skywalker was gone. This is in Vader's mind. The boy's skill and power are increasing. That at least is one consolation. I understand someone else wants a Skywalker. Who? I don't know, Lord Vader. Wait, please. We dealt with agents, but but some of us heard rumors. We heard it was the Black Sun. I see. And the reward was for Skywalker alive. No, my lord, they wanted him dead. This is in his mind again. Black Sun, of course. No one stands to gain more uh, by embarrassing me in front of the Emperor than Zizor. So they want to basically frame him. And this is his mind again. And, and what better way than to kill my son? Oh, so he's thinking about his son in between Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi already, people. See, you're hearing, hearing it first at Rob to YouTube. Okay. So Zizor and Leia again. Come, sit here beside me. Why do you keep your distance? Just making some tea. It's, it, it's kind of uh, warm in here. There's Chewbacca. Uh, fucks up this dude. If you're warm, why... Why don't you remove your clothes and get comfortable? Woo, cool. I've got I got a little uh, cooler now. Take them off anyway. Cool. I like them already, people. He wants fucking Prince Leia to take them off. This is supposed to be one of these guys. Oh, there you have it, right there, people. But I guess they screwed up or something. On the colors and shit. Okay, so he tells him tells Princess Leia to take off her clothes. Cool. I would tell her too. No, this is in her mind. No, what I really want to, to do is give Chewie another few minutes to go to get out of here and get help. Uh, next page. Uh, okay, there's another suit, people. Right? Oh, no, that's a fucking Luke Skywalker disguise. Okay, here we go. This seems, to be, this seems to be taking a very long time. It's stuck. Come here, I'll undo it. Hell yeah, that's what I'd be telling her too. Wait, there it is. Now, the rest of it, hell yeah. In her mind again? I hope Chewie's had long enough because this is as far as I go. Okay, I don't think so. What? Or, yeah, what? It isn't proper to remove one's clothes in, in front of a stranger. You cannot re refuse me. No female can. This is in her mind. I can feel it was washing over me again. The desire for him. That was no drug in my tea. It was him. He must give off some powerful chemical attractions. I wish I had some motherfucking powerful attractions like that, fuck. But like like any magic, once you know how to, it's done, it doesn't impress. Oh, she fucking knees him in the fucking stomach, dudes. So you resist me. It was the Wookiee if it hadn't not... <coughs> ah, anyway, fuck it. Sometimes Wookiee are very smart and always very loyal. So be it, girly. Now what the hell is that? Take her to the room. Shit, Barry, I'm bringing. That's Gurry. Gurry. <laughs> and lock her in sooner or later. I believe she will find I am not so such bad company. No shit. Don't count on it, motherfucker. Oh shit. Hey, that motherfucker's not in this comic, but I just said it. Did the Wookiee escape? Yes, Majesty. You did not allow him to think it was it was too easy. He put five of our troops down. We we uh. Ah, who gives a fuck? The Wookiee will no doubt contact Skywalker. Contact Skywalker, who will become running to the rescue, the rescue, uh, the princess's rescue. So, uh, this is all in his mind, by the way. Right into my hands. Okay, here we go. Back to the Boba Fett. Fucking a, bad. Locked on target. Here we go. Boom. Slave One's weapon systems are retired, are repaired, but there's still one torn in my flesh. I have come to to hate the sight of you, Solo. Pursued by the rebels and, and my fellow bounty hunters, alive, harried, 
waylaid, hijacked, no reward can be worth the trouble you put me through, there will be an end to it. So fucking A man, fucking goddamn both in other words, it's pretty goddamn pissed people. You will be pleased to learn I have set course for tattooing. Oh, he's even got a fucking, uh, what's his name? Uh, Zuckus, right? Captured. You're going to deliver soul to Jabba. You'll never make it, Bet. They'll be waiting for you. I am well aware of that, fortunately. I have you to help me, Zuckus. Me? Forget it. See, they're making a deal here now. You're in no position to refuse. Your role will be will be extre extremely dangerous. Of course, you may not survive, but at least you will have the satisfaction of knowing your, you sacrificed your life in good in a good cause. Cool, huh? Is that the shit? Here we go, people. Back to fucking Jabba's house palace from a fucking goddamn top view. How, how did I ever end up on tattooing? Who the hell is this fucking? Oh, it's Dash. Okay. Sneak around Jabba's palace like a thief in the night. If, you're, if you can't sneak away, with one good leg, the sooner I am off of this flooding dirt ball and back to the civilization, the better. Enter security code. Security code just like that. Taitwa Jabba doesn't want anyone making a free calls. Unfortunately, that includes me. Thought I heard someone. Well, well, if it isn't Jix. Oh, that's Jix. I ain't fucking no motherfucking Dash Randar. Man, who's this motherfucker? The master always had you had his suspicions about you. He will be interested to hear <coughs> you whisper to just a personal call. Boom! So he fucks him up. In other words, what the hell? Apologies, friend. Believe me, I could have done it without this too. Cold book, good thing you came along after all. Ah, oh, back to fucking Vader. What news do you have? I'll make this quick, Skywalker. What's on tattooing? Java sent me and, and the swoop troops to get him. I mean, kill him. Yes, there is a second reward on offer. It seems Black Sun has entered the, the bidding. So here's Vader again. Black Sun is nothing according to Java. Yeah. Black Sun is nothing according to Java. The offer came from you. Okay, this is in his mind. And, and while I am all away, Oh, okay. So Zizor is not only plans to kill my son, he intends to Im implant or implant me in the deed. Such treachery. But rumor is enough. I need proof, sound evidence to present to the Emperor. And while I am away, what other devious uh, schemes is, is <clears throat> the Dark Prince hatching back on uh, Kors Korskant? Yeah. I must return with all speed. So basically, you're gonna go to some motherfucking light speed, motherfuckers. Shit, man. Fuck. 
Oh my god. That's fucking scary as fuck, dude. Fuck, let me see. I'm just gonna watch a movie. Fuck this shit. Fucking Java? What the fuck is this? Son of a bitch! Fuck this, man. I'm fucking getting fucking scared. This is freaking me out, man. All this fucking everything I'm touching turned to Star Wars shit. Oh, fuck. I need some fucking music or something, man. Fuck! Fuck shit! Fucking Dark Lord of the Sith of all fucking things that I needed to fucking get in my hands and shit, man. Fuck! I don't understand what this fucking... Everything I'm touching turns to Star Wars, man. Fuck, maybe I just need to chill out or fucking just fucking... Play some music here, man, because this is fucked up and shit, dude. What the fuck? Holy shit! Everything I touch does turn to Star Wars, man! What is with this shit? Fuck! This is a fucking nice piece, but man! It has to be the Dark Lord of the Sith fucking curse that I was practicing last night. That's fucking A, man. Fuck, I, w I really would like to read over right now, but I'm afraid that I'm going to turn that into Star Wars. And shit, somebody needs that right now. And thank God that I have my camera rolling because that there's, a, as I remember, and if I'm not mistaken, yes, there's that fucking 30-hour tape in there. It should still be recording. Yep, it's only been 10 hours. Great, it's still recording. So, what I'm going to do, and i got to do some fast thinking here, is... Okay, if everything I touch turns to Star Wars, fuck. I just touched my fucking self, so I'm or came close to touching myself, so fuck. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna go ahead, it seems like with my four fingers, when I touch everything with my all four fingers put together, which is eight all together, so thank God I can use my thumbs for something other, that fucking, it turns to Star Wars, so now that I got this camera rolling, I'll go ahead and touch myself and I'll explain to the camera that they have to repeat the curse backwards if I'm not mistaken because that was already warned to me and yes camera who's ever's out there you gotta fucking repeat this fucking curse backwards and that will get me probably the curse dropped off me so I'm gonna go ahead and touch myself and fucking, if I turn into Star Wars, then you guys gotta help me out and fucking pray backwards this prayer prayer that's in this book right here. And hopefully I'll come off the curse of fucking the Sith, of everything I touch turns to Star Wars. So, okay, here it goes. Century Park screen of episode one, Phantom Menace, Star First Wars. Day. We are here. We're going to interview people now. I was here at midnight last night, though, so it's like the second day. <laughs> yeah, that's my same shirt. Yo. You're the only other person I've seen who has that shirt. Welcome to the Rob's D2 Show. I'm the host, Rob's D2. I'm here live via satellite, Century Park. Tell me you're giving people flyers. Yo, Doc, you can find some flyers out if you want. How you guys doing today? You guys ready for the Star Wars thing? Oh yeah, me too. I already saw it, by the way. It was a very good show. I'm not going to reveal any secrets to you guys, though, but... Uh, any words for me for a Star Wars thing, as a fan, sir? No? You don't want to reveal anything? I do. I want to reveal the fact that Darth Maul... Is cool. Any words for this? Can't, you can't wait till the movie comes out. It's bad. I still got like about six more times I gotta see it. I'm still stoked for this shit, man. I was here last night at midnight. Here, I should just tell my story. This is his new home now. So now I'm here filming. <laughs> when I should have had it. I should have been here filming when there was hundreds of people here, but I was one of those people that were like waiting, so. How about you, sir? I know you from somewhere. Where I know you from? Oh, that's right. This is a guy who collects. He's a collect. I got a collector here. I collect all the Star Wars stuff that's been coming out over at uh, Pizza Hut. Uh, what's it called? Uh, Taco Bell. I've been up since last night, dude. All night long. So you got to break it. But uh, cool. <laughs> we watched both. both versions oh, you saw it last night years. also? No. Oh, okay. We, we had a Star Wars party. We watched the THX oh. Digital Remastered Trilogy and had the special okay. edition. 
Awesome. Cool. 12 hours straight. Of so how, how, how's the collecting going these days? Yeah, what, what are you collecting these days? It's just everything. Uh, <laughs> Trying try to keep up with the new you stuff. You hear the music in the distance, people. Are you collecting anything? Like, uh, let me see. I mean, I, I'm getting like, I mean, like when I when it comes to like collecting from like you know Taco Bell and Pizza Hut, like I'm I'm only collecting like Darth Maul and Queen Amadilla. I don't like this either. I mean they're all cool. Don't get me wrong. You can get in there and totally love everybody that's gonna be you know presented to you as a character. But you know, he's already hitting up the other line. Uh, how much? <laughs> Uh, any, any any the, the from the oh yeah, definitely. I got all those 18 action figures. I don't got the, the three, uh, or actually I got one of the four battle droids. Did you get the 12 inch dark Yeah, as a matter of fact, that was given to me for somebody to get in line. He's like, he walks up to me and he's like, hey guy, I got this Darth Maul figure, 12 inch figure, and I'm like 50 people away from the line. This is the day of the, the tickets on sale. And he's like, I'll give you a Darth Maul figure. And I'm like, hey, do you keep it low, man? You know, I didn't want nobody like ahead of me here to hear this. So this, I'm like, oh, hell yeah, guy. Come on down. So yeah, he comes up, whips out this fucking big ass Darth Maul 12 inch to me. And I'm like, dude. That was a good deal. And I fucking just shoved it in my backpack real quick. So I'll be like, hey, get that Darth Maul, man. I'll give you 10 bucks extra plus over here, you know. So that was my, uh, that was like my five minutes of fame. <laughs> but yeah, man, it's, I mean, no, get free things here. Hey, well, thank you very much, and uh, stay tuned for the show. It's fun. Good to see you. Very cool. Just don't like it so we're safe when you ask me to do that. Excellent. Well, if you're still going to go to camp, I'll find my money or something. Oh, yeah. Just pick up a record. I probably wouldn't. There we have it, Tuesday. There's a sticker station. This dude right here, get him. Get him. Nice thank you, dude. Um, Anybody else want to say a few words? Because I can't say anything anymore. Look at this chair. Oh, that's cool. How do you like the movie so far? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Are you, are you in, uh, excited to go into and watch it? Have you seen it yet? How about the old movies? Have you seen the old movies a lot? Who's your favorite character in the old movies? I don't know. <laughs> you don't like like Chewbacca or the or the Ewoks? There's one of our future uh, future <laughs> stars there. Yeah, hey, that's a cool shirt. Get this guy's shirt. We're getting that Santa Claus effect on him. Yeah. Awesome. So, yeah. so you saw it already? Yeah, I'm showing him pictures cool. of it. Oh, no, sweet. we actually didn't see the movie. Oh, okay. See, uh, okay. That's a lot of the behind the scenes stuff. There you have it. Can we get a few, like, one of your favorite behind the scenes pictures there? Well, here's all the Tuscan Raiders. Look at that. that show. Yeah. All these guys dressed up like this and <laughs> you name it. <laughs> There's all kinds of stuff there. I mean, we got, I've got 11 yeah. rolls here, so don't worry. About it. I'm not going to waste all your tape. <laughs> yeah, we ain't got too much tape here. I mean, it's only going to roll for about an hour, anyways. Anyway, these guys all dressed up. So here, there, there you have it. People oh, from San Diego? Is that where that was? Pardon me? Where is that? It was in Denver. Oh, Denver. the toy convention? Yeah, it was a big Star Wars convention on the first, uh, 30th and 1st and 2nd of May. And I've seen some of that on the web. So yeah. Pictures. It was, it was as good as they said. It was a lot of fun. It rained like crazy. Though. <laughs> anyway, this sticker station. There you have it, Tucson. Arizona, <laughs> man. I guess we're going to go ahead and go on the Tons other side of the over here. Out here. Yeah, you got a few, hey, anybody got a few words to say about the new Star Wars movie or old Star Wars movie? How about that? Here's the camera rolling, guys. This is your five minutes of fame. We're rolling right here, man. Um, we got flyers with my flyer guy. He went over there. Yeah. Say two for the show, guys. You know what I mean? I'm, 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 it's not like I'm yeah. or anything. I'm not like <laughs> your public access. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not doing it because it's in the house now. I'm doing it because I've been doing it for like the last three or four years. And I'm your whole like, life. I love Star Wars. <laughs> it's like my <laughs> life. Hey, thank you, guys. We're gonna go over here on the other side, guys. You're doing this before you had a camera to do it with. It's rolling. This is the line for the 4:30 screen of Star Wars, which is now officially the fourth. Probably no, we, oh, we had three last it's night. It's hard to tell how many. We had three last know. night. If I'm not mistaken, get those people tripping over here. Tripping, they're tripping over at the movies. That's also playing here. <laughs> Welcome, my viewers. 
These shows are so easy to do because you know why? Because it doesn't take much but a fucking camera and uh, a little bit of some music to like, create this shit. This on Arizona, this is what I wanted to show you guys today, so I want to try and get this over with quick. Dark Mess Amadilla. Here's uh, here's pencils, look at Phantom Menace panels, panels, pencils. Doesn't even say Phantom Menace on the thing. Kids Mill, look at that. Chuchain. Here's all the shit that they have over at, this is uh, Pizza, no, yeah, Pizza Hut shit. And here we got a fucking, this is Defeat the Dark Side and Win, this is from Taco Bell, Chingadera. Okay, we got that. She's still in Arizona. There's a lot of motherfucking shit out, dudes. Here, look at this. Oh, sweetie, she made it on Lay's potato chips bags. And here we have the official motherfucking fork releases of the fucking TV guy, motherfuckers. Few them now. Yeah. How's that look? Move it over though, I can't see the oh. last one. Crazy. Call me motherfucking crazy, guys. This shit, too. Look at Boom. Here's Jar Jar fucking Papa Binks. Here's, this makes a puzzle, okay? This, this is one from each of the fucking stores, okay? Here's yogurt. There's an imp or imperf or sender. I don't know. Fuck. I don't want to worry about nobody's name right now. Fucking stupid ass Anakin. For my grand finale, motherfuckers. We got the lightsaber duel. Fucking here we go. Look at it. Lego system. Is that cool? Darth Maul. And this motherfucker check him out. You can fucking motherfucker. Motherfucker. Woo! I'm kicking ass. Woo! We have here Boss Nos, the action figure. Boss hog. It looks like a boss hog. Here's Conehead motherfucker, whoever this dude is. No, actually his name is uh Key ID Mandui with lightsaber, so he's a Jedi. He's a Darth Vader without a helmet. He looks funky, dude. When you get the thing that As part of the 12 members of Jedi Council again. gathered on Corsica at the Temple of the Jedi, Key ID Mandui must help make many fatal decisions as the Council called upon the, to consider the invasion of Naboo and the future of young Anakin Skywalker. What's that? We're gonna have to do these all over again when you get the thing that makes him talk. Totally. Mace Windu. Open them to make them talk, Here's Mace Windu, Samuel L. Jackson. Look at that. Close up of Samuel. Here we got Darth Sidious. Those who are fortunate enough to have fucking uh, the Mace Windu and the send away thing and shit, fucking, you're, you're lucky. Here's the stupidest fucking action figure in person that exists in Star Wars, as far as I'm concerned. Ewoks. Jar Jar Binks. Yeah, I think he even fucking bites more than Ewoks, and I haven't even seen him perform yet. This is like three days before the movie when this airs out, guys, okay? This is three days before the movie, so this is old school already. Here's uh, Papaline. We have here Watto. The owner of the slaves, Anakin and Shimmy Skywalker. And a notorious gambler, Watto is a t toy darren, junk dealer who supplies the... Dinzins of most Espa with a manner of mechanical odds and ends. So here's here's fucking this dude. He looks like he pretty much don't give a rat's ass for anything. Here's Chancellor Velcro. Velro. The guy who looks like fucking the guy from Battle of Star Galactica. Here's Gasgono. Gasgano. 
There's two of them in this one, guys. That's a pit droid. Is the other one. And last but not last, last but not least, Rick Ole. The very fucking one that's out. You can find him anywhere. So he's the final one. And for my grand finale of this fucking segment that uh, I like to call the action figure segment, here's what's her name. Hi, my name is Miss What's Her Name, and I want to welcome you to Rob the DT Show. So thank you for being here tonight. Next to the grand finale is this two centers. Uh, check out Dark Mall. This is a very special gift that was given to me to let somebody get in line. Dark Mall, man. So that's the shit, huh? Here you have Quicon Jin, Jar Jar Binks, and Dark Mall. At last we see we reveal ourselves to the Jedi. At last we shall have our revenge. And that is the segment of fucking action figures for you guys. So stay tuned for the rest of the show, you guys. And um, we'll be here because we're not square. So thank you, you guys. See you later. <laughs> he says you must sing with us on this last song. It is another Terran folk song. You will know what to sing. Are you still filming? Filming. Ready. Stop. Started like again, downtown Joliet. Okay, guys. Uh, you know, me, most people were like kind of like waiting in line, but 
Nami. Thank you. I try not to be alive, but I gotta kind of be. These are the wonderful people who are involved over here in uh, downtown Joliet and uh, Star Wars convention. And look at the, uh, we got Darth Vader here, we got Bubba Fett, and we got all the people over here. Man, I gotta get a picture of Darth Vader. Awesome. Uh, live via satellite again, downtown Joliet. Uh, we're over here at the Star Wars rally. You so see everybody that's having a lot of fun out here. Sounds like they're about to make a big, big announcement, but I'm just getting my Star Wars tattoo. Where would you like to? My tattoo, but thank you for being here again tonight. Come over here if you can. We can get other people's ways. Uh, but go ahead and film fucking uh, what's going on over here for these people over here for the most part. But uh, you like my tattoo? For the most part. We love it. <gasps> little Darth Vader guy. Got him. I got him. I got him. Awesome. You're going to be on TV. This way. Might be a satellite. Uh, don't touch all the air. Uh, like we're here with the rack on. I'm here with a rack on. Think you guys are sitting me alone? Think you guys are sitting me alone? Think you guys are stopping me? Stop. Please. And then you move my rank on. Then you move my rank on. But anyway, I'm going to be sitting like a double million again. I'm going to be here again. No, go ahead. Uh, I'm going to be done. Tell me, you know, why it's in Arizona, the world. Look at this little back rancor. He's really cool. He's so cool. So anyways, we got a Gamorian bone over here on the floor. We got some skeletons. 